today's title uh, do you know about spiritual problems uh, today's text is first chapter 5 verses 7 to 9 this is it as peter chapter 5 verse 7 to 9 Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hmm. I sent the message on chatting now. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, I got it now. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. Amen. Amen. Every human has a soul, uh, spirit, and therefore everyone has spiritual problems. Spiritual problems refer to the vulnerable areas in each person where Satan can uh, in, infiltrate. If a person does not meet Christ, they are destroyed by their spiritual problems. Satan knows each person's spiritual weaknesses well, so we must not give him any opportunity. First, as Christians, we have an adversary. According to 1 Peter chapter 5, 8, our adversary is the devil. Yeah, speak. Peter, five, Peter, chapter 5, verse 8. Be mm -hmm. self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Amen. Yeah. The devil is our enemy. Yeah. He's, he's prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Yeah. He, uh, he doesn't need to uh, sleep or eat something and mm -hmm. take a uh, rest. He is he always is doing doing uh, prowl is prowl. Oh, wow, well, yeah, like a loading. And uh, Matthew chapter 25, verse 41, uh, tells mm -hmm. that hell is yeah, prepared for the devil. Yeah, then he say to those on his left, depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Amen. Yeah. The Bible says the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. That means hell is prepared for the devil and his angels. Those who follow the devil will also end up there. Okay, and second, let's uh, identify his name. His name is uh, Satan. Yeah, or the devil. Yeah. Satan comes from uh, Hebrew, uh, Hebrews, and devil uh, comes from the Greek. Yeah. The same meaning. Uh, he is called Satan or the devil. 
And the angels who fell with Satan are called evil spirits and or spirits of deception or demons. And thirdly, when did they appear? Yeah. Ezekiel 28, 13 to 17. Mm -hmm. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone adorned you. Ruby, topaz, and emerald, chrysolite, and onyx, jasper, uh, sapphire, turquoise, and beryl. Your settings and mountings were made of gold. On the day you were created, they were prepared. You were anointed as a guardian cherub, for so I ordained you. You were on the holy mount of God. You walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways. From the day you were created, till wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade, you were filled with violence and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God and I expelled you, O guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to the earth I made a spectacle of you before kings. Amen. Yeah. He was in Eden long ago, uh, adorned with precious stones, and musical instruments were prepared on the, the day. He was created, and he was skilled in music. However, became proud because of his beauty and fair uh, thus he was expelled from the mountain of God. Yeah. And let's take a look at Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah okay. 14, 11 to 15. Yes. Yeah. All your pomp has been brought down to the grave, along with the noise of your harps. Maggots are spread out beneath you and worms cover you. How have you fallen from heaven? O morning star, sun of the dawn, you have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly on the utmost heights of the sacred mountain. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high, but you are brought down to the grave, to the depths of the pit. Amen. Amen. Satan opposed the Most High God and was cast down from heaven to the earth. And let's take a look at. Uh, he was cast out into the air. Uh, Ephesians chapter two, verse two. Ephesians cast mm -hmm. out into the air. Uh, Ephesians 2 2, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler, ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is now at war in those who are disobedient. Yeah. yeah. Satan was cast out into the air and he. Mm -hmm became the ruler of the kingdom of the air. Uh, and he is now 
at work in those who are disobedient. And then uh, he was cast down to earth. It will destroy humanity. Yeah. Let's take a look at Revelation chapter 12. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. He still swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that he might devour her child the moment it was born. Yeah. The stars, the star means, the stars means angels. A third of the, the stars uh, was swept by his tail. Yeah. Uh, mm. Okay, and then let's take a look at verses 7 to 9. Continue. Yeah, verses 7 to 9. Mm -hmm. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Uh, he was, uh, was cast down to the earth. Yeah. He is seeking to destroy humanity. Yes. Okay, and eventually he will go to hell. In Matthew chapter 27, verse 41, we have already read yes. and his angels he from the, the heaven and he fell to the, the the hair. Uh, the, the hair is prepared for them. Okay, um, let's move on to the four. Uh, ultimately, uh, we will can have hair. Okay, let's move on to number four. Uh, Satan's activities. Yeah. Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. Uh, he, tempted, he tempted the first humans through the serpent. Yeah. He tempted the first humans, Adam and Eve, uh, through the serpent. Yeah. The serpent, which he, who is Satan. Okay. And yes. Ephesians uh, 6 11. Mm. Uh, he, uses, 6, 11. he uses the schemes and deceit. Yeah, Satan is using schemes and deceit now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. And uh, verse 11, uh, verse 12. Uh, he uses rule mm. and authorities and powers of this dark world and spiritual force of evil in the heavenly realms. Yeah. He is controls rulers, rulers, authorities, powers of this dark world and spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. They are they they mean they do not mean human, uh, but mm. the spiritual existence, yeah. they are mm. spiritual beings, uh, the evil spirits. Mm. And verse uh, 13. Uh, verse 13 yeah. uh, aims to make us fall after we have done everything. Yeah. 
he aims to make us fall after we have done everything. So you must be alert. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. verse 16. Yes. Verses 16 is he shoots flaming arrows. Yeah, he shoots flaming arrows. So you must uh, have shield of faith. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. And second, uh, second Corinthians chapter mm -hmm. 11, verse 14. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He masquerades as an angel of light. Yeah, he, he masquerades and, as an angel of light. So we must never uh, be uh, deceived. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. And let's uh, let's take a look at First Peter chapter five verses seven to eight. Mm -hmm. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Yeah, he's walking around. Yeah. Uh, Looking, yeah. looking for someone to devour. Uh, so we must uh, cast out our anxieties, cast on, cast all our anxieties on on God. Mm. We must change our anxieties into the her topics. Okay. And second Corinthians. Chapter 4, verse 4. He. Uh, wow, Satan. He deceives and blinds the minds of unbelievers. Yeah, yeah. Now he deceives and blinds the minds of unbelievers. Yeah. They are the prey of Satan. Okay, and. We can compare uh, Mark chapter 5, 3 uh, to begin and Mark chapter 9, verses 17 to 18 and Luke chapter verse oh, Satan oppresses physically and mentally, and those weaknesses also. He is attacking, attacking people. Yeah. Mark chapter 5, Each verse 3 to 14. Yeah. And also, uh, let's take a look at Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. He has... He has an organization. Yeah, Satan is an organization. Wow. He has an uh, organization. Yeah. So he has to, he has great power to attack us. Yeah. yeah. So how to fight and overcome him? Uh, the Bible says, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 to 18. Yeah, please read. Mm. How to fight and overcome the devil. Put on the whole armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's skin. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteous, righteousness in place, with your feet 
fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions. With all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind. Be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Amen. Yeah. We must yeah. we must put on the full armor of God. Mm -hmm. What it was uh, what are the uh, full armor? Yeah. First, we First, must. Um, we uh, must um, we put must, on the armor of God. No? First is uh, we must uh, take your stand against. Yeah. Mm. Take your stand. Okay. Mm. Against yes. the, the schemes. And, of, yeah. Put on make, the belt of. Yeah, you may be able to stand your ground. This is an uh, attitude for the fighting. Hmm? Then stand your ground and uh, stand, stand, uh, stand firm, stand firm, okay? Stand firm. Mm. and belt of truth, okay? Mm. And the truth means Jesus Christ is the truth. Okay? We must uh, know the knowledge of Jesus Christ. That is the truth and his words and the gospel. And the uh, breast feast, uh, breastplate, breastplate of righteousness. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the, the blood of uh, the righteous comes from the blood of Jesus Christ. And mm -hmm. uh, the, your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Okay. The, the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, uh, take up the shield of faith. Uh, so you must have the knowledge of faith, salvation, and we must have the faith. And we, you can extinguish all the flame arrows of the evil one. And then uh, take the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation, mm -hmm. the knowledge of salvation. And sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, pray in the spirit on all occasions, always pray. So, uh, we must put on the, the full armor of God and then pray in the spirit on all occasions. And Matthew chapter 16, uh, verse 18, Sweet. He just said, Ephesians, pray in the spirit on all occasions. Yeah, and then Matthew 16, 18. And I tell you mm -hmm. that you are Peter, 
and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Amen. Evangelism Jesus, Jesus. takes the power of the devil. Yeah, Jesus said, yeah, I tell you that you are pure and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. That means uh, evangelism um, breaks the power of the devil. It can uh, break the power of the death and the devil. It can defeat the, the power of uh, darkness. Okay? All right. Uh, this is the conclusion. Uh, there are healing spiritual problems. First, we must enter into deep meditation on the world. Yeah. Always. Please uh, meditate on the world and please uh, listen to the perfect message and take hold of the message of this week. Does that give me? And second, please enter into the breathing prayer. 24 7, enjoy the breathing prayer. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just name, uh, always you can enjoy prayer. Dear Lord, my Jesus, please fill me with your spirit and your power to, uh, to be witness uh, to the ends of the earth and every place I take. And your kingdom come. And with Exhale, you can uh, command. In Jesus' name, I, I command all darkness and darkness depart from okay? Be bound in Jesus' name here. You can uh, enjoy this deep breathing prayer, 10 7. And then uh, have a regular lifestyle and uh, keep going, uh, exercise, always keep exercising in your lives. This is very important. Okay, the meditation yes. and prayer and regular lifestyle and exercise. Spiritual problems will be healed. Okay? Mm. Enjoy this wonderful blessing in your lives. Uh, we have uh, some kinds of spiritual problems, but uh, no problem. We are God's children. We have uh, Jesus' name and His gospel and the Holy Spirit. Uh, is dwelling in us and he is guiding us always. Oh, we can enjoy uh, spiritual uh, power in our lives. Uh, by enjoying uh, the vacation on the world and deep breathing, breathing prayer and regular lifestyle and exercise. Okay? And then your uh, brain and your head will be healed, and your spirit and heart will be healed, and your body and your life will be healed. Okay? And then your spiritual problems will be healed. Great. Okay? Please enjoy the healing. Okay? All right, let's pray. 
dear father, thank you for giving us very important message even today. Lord, uh, now we uh, have uh, realized uh, the spiritual problems and the spiritual healing. Lord, please fill us with your spirit and help us to have a, have a victory against the evil spirits. With the name of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, help us to uh, put on the full armor of God and stand against this and the evil spirits. Help us and victory every day. We want to enjoy uh, meditation, deep, deep meditation on the word of God and deep breathing prayer 24 7 and uh, regular lifestyle and exercise in the grace of God. Our blessings and lead us. Help us to enjoy these wonderful blessings so that we can be uh, true disciples of Christ and true evangelists in our lives, Lord. We want to be witness uh, of Jesus Christ in our lives, Lord. Bless us, lead us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.